2018 it's going to be remembered in history as the year when all our smartphones tried to do full screen sure a lot of them went down that notch route but there have been attempts to kill that notch we all know how it happened with pop up cameras with slide outs and even with dual screens the attempts are still on but we are still living in notch city because those are concepts not actual solutions there is one company though that has never done a notch phone which is quite surprising right it's almost the end of 2018 and samsung has not done a single phone with a notch how did they hold up till now maybe they have plans to kill the notch that's what it looks like so before we find out how they kill that notch hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you can be notified of all our videos and let us know in the comment section below what you think about this video once it ends now let's talk about killing that notch we all know samsung is at the forefront of screen technology especially with their bendable oled panels which have taken over the market like crazy most of the notch based phones with oled panels you see they are samsung panels so they are at the bleeding edge actually and they have revealed something really interesting at some amoled forum that happened in china and uh, about only 20 vendors attended it but <laughs> one picture has leaked out from ice universe who is a known leaker by the way so first thing that we know from this leak is that samsung will be utilizing in display fingerprint scanners as well another patent leak has revealed that you can touch anywhere on the display and still your fingerprint will be scanned which is quite interesting we are not sure how samsung plans to do it but it's called fingerprint on display it's not an in display fingerprint scanner it's not restricted to some area but the whole display and second what they have revealed is the most interesting sensors can go under the panel now they are called under panel sensors and this includes the front facing camera this is not going to be a cut out or anything apparently it's just going to be under the panel whatever that means if samsung is able to do this the notch is going to disappear that's pretty much the case if the sensors like ambient light sensor or even ir sensor and everything that's associated with that notch area even notification led if they can go under the panel and be merged with the display that's going to be a huge win and samsung has revealed it which means they are far ahead in the research with it because companies usually don't reveal these things unless they have put a lot of research into it now third thing we have to fix the sound as well right this something other devices have done before it's going to be like conduction of sound throughout the glass panel so under the panel there are going to be sound chambers where sound is generated and you can just keep the phone on your ear and listen to the sound through the glass that's like bone conduction pretty much and this is going to happen as a part of the new screen technology and finally samsung is also working on a haptic feedback technology that works on the display we are not sure entirely what this means but haptic feedback technology on gaming controls is what the leak says the picture says and it's going to be quite interesting if it's different than what the vibrational motors right now do maybe it's localized current this has been talked about some i don't know for 10 years and not a single company has done it on the capacitive touch screen it's going to be interesting to see if samsung does it because this next generation of amoled panels better bring some no notch full screen experience for samsung because they have still held out on not doing a notch which leads me to believe that maybe they are waiting for this technology which they are developing to mature so that they can use it first you know that's what usually apple does apple usually pays companies before and says that oh i'm going to use your technology exclusively for one or two years and then others can use it that's what happened with capacitive screens actually and uh, the specific type of capacitive technology which moves with your finger that was with apple for a long time so maybe samsung is planning something like that and i hope samsung is planning something like that because we need some new technology in this space sliders are not going to work pop out cameras are not going to work and dual screens well maybe they work let's see but still they are not an optimal solution to this problem of the notch 
under the panel sensors big 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 technology change if that happens and that's going to get us to this full screen experience that 2018 has been inching towards so that's about it for the video i hope you learned something new if you ended up liking this video hit that like button as always hit that subscribe button and that bell icon if you haven't already and thanks for watching do let me know what you think in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one